LinkedIn is one of the most powerful tools that exists today for candidates. It is the absolute social media platform you need to be on as professional. And if you use it right, you could actually get recruiters to reach out to you with jobs. But most people do not use it right. I've been in recruitment for 15 years. In today's video, I'm going to give you five things you need to do to make sure that recruiters are reaching out to you and recruiting you on LinkedIn. Let's go. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you are leveraging the skills section. You can add like 50 different skills there. And today, about 40% of recruiters are actually using skills to search candidates as opposed to job title. So instead of searching quality engineer or project management, they're looking for Lean Six Sigma or Six Sigma Greenbelt. And they're doing different things like that or continuous improvement, etc. You get what I mean. But most people, they add a few skills and they just move on with their life. But that's a huge mistake because if you add the correct skills there, recruiters will absolutely find you and they will wind up on your page. Another huge tip, if there are companies that you want to work for, you need to follow them and then you need to interact with their posts. Recruiters who pay for LinkedIn Recruiter, which is the tool most recruiters are using to reach out to candidates, they actually can see if a candidate has interacted with their company previously. And the reason they do that is because recruiters who interact um, or candidates who interact with companies actually have a higher probability of applying to a job or responding to an in-mail message, which is the messages uh, that recruiters send people on LinkedIn. So if you're interested in a company, it behooves you to click on the, um, the company, follow, like some of their posts, and engage sporadically. That is something you can do to make them aware that you're someone who might be interested. Now, the next thing you need to do is you need to upload your resume. I've actually created a video, um, how to upload your resume to LinkedIn. I will actually link that right here at the end of the video. So stay tuned to the end if you want that link, but make sure you do that. Linking, um, attaching your resume to your LinkedIn profile is a great way to make sure recruiters find you and they immediately have access to all the things you have done in the past. Now, if you wanna make sure you have a great resume, down in the description box, the second link is actually a link to um, Earn Better. Earn Better is a company that uses AI to improve your resume immediately and it is 100% free. So if you wanna check that out and make sure you have the best resume possible, go down and click the link for Earn Better. Another thing you wanna do is click that you are open to work. Now you don't need to use the green banner, you can do that if you want, but if you're open to work, um, that's actually something you can click on your profile. It'll let recruiters who do not work for your company know you are open to work. Nobody in your company can see it. Nobody can see it unless they are a recruiter and specifically a recruiter for another company. So if you do that, recruiters will know that you are more likely to respond. They can send you messages for free. It doesn't count against their credits. Therefore, they are more likely to do it. They are more likely to reach out to you. So make sure you do that. By the way, if you're finding value in this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. It's free, it tells YouTube I don't suck, and it motivates me to make more videos like this. And if you're already willing to do that, then hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you never miss one of my three free weekly videos all designed to help you maximize your career and nail your interview and land your dream job. The next tip that I want you to do is when recruiters reach out to you, just talk to them, respond to their messages. Even if you're not necessarily looking, have conversations with them. It's not necessarily about that job. I mean, they may have a great job for you right now, but even if they don't, they might be a person you want to have a relationship with who can bring more roles to you in the future. If you just decline a message on LinkedIn, then you close the door to the opportunities that might exist in the future. But if you jump on a phone call with someone and say, hey, that's not the job I'm looking for, but I am open to this, this, and this, they might have that job right now. But if they don't have it right now, they might have it in the future. So you definitely want to take those conversations, build relationships, and just have people out there who know what you're interested in doing, know what you're looking for, and are able to funnel opportunities your way. It is a quick thing you can do that can literally give you access to tons of jobs that are never even posted. Now, if you're looking to upload your resume onto LinkedIn, this video here will teach you exactly what to do. This is very useful if you want recruiters to find you and ultimately reach out to you um, regarding jobs. So I am done here, but I'll see you over there.